Hey, Brian, this is Grant with Blue Digital Solutions. Uh, I know you spoke with Wayne earlier, and uh, he told you we were going to shoot you a quick video. So uh, I did a little research, kind of looking at, you know, comparing you, uh, your company, to your competitors here in the area. Uh, so I just kind of want to show you what I found and give you some tips, um, maybe some tricks, techniques, some stuff that you guys might be able to do uh, to try to help your web, your web presence uh, to be able to compete with uh, this big competitor here in your area. So to get started, um, I'm just going to go over three of the big things that uh, you could actually do it's going to make the biggest difference, especially when it comes to ranking in the search engines. And it's going to be content, backlinks, and citations. And I'll dive into each of those and kind of tell you how, how each of them work. Uh, so starting off, I'm going to compare you to Turner Pest Control. And the way that I found them, I looked and found out which keyword is searched the most here in Jacksonville when you're looking for a pest control service. And as you probably guess, it's Pest Control Jacksonville FL. So what I do is I, I skip this. I'm not worried about this right now, but I want to come down here into the organic um, listings. And as we see, turnerpest.com is ranked number one. So that's why I'm using them. So going back to content, the first thing I told you I would tell you about, we look at your site and when I, we talk about content, we're talking about anything, you know, obviously any type of verbiage that's on your page. So we go look at it and we see there's probably maybe 500 words total, if that. And so... Um, Google wants to see at least a minimum of a thousand. Sweet spot's kind of a thousand to fifteen hundred. And the reason content is so is so important is because first off, that's where you're going to kind of interweave the keywords that you're wanting to rank for. And on top of that, Google wants to know that you are the local expert in the area. Uh, the way that they can tell that is by the content that you put on your page. So the more content, the better. We look at your competitors here, and we look at their page, and we see you know they have content throughout here. More content, content down here, keeps going. And they still really don't even have that much, um, easily beatable. So that's one thing that you can you can go ahead and, and do that's really easy. And you just want to kind of interweave your keywords within your content. And just give you kind of an example of why it's so important, look at Wikipedia. Anytime you search anything, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, whoever, or whatever, uh, you'll notice that usually Wikipedia is usually not the top, if not the top one, they're, they're within the top three. And the reason for that is because the all of the content they have. They have tons and tons and tons of content, which tells Google that they are the local experts or the experts in that, that field. And so that's why Google gives them priority and ranks them number one. So that's the first thing is content. Next thing I want to cover is backlinks. Actually, before we jump into that, one thing I noticed, let's see, I haven't checked it yet, but any pictures that you have on your website, like I so said, Google crawls your site top to bottom, left to right, and they don't see this nice, you know, beautiful site that you guys have built. All they see is the content, and then they don't see pictures or videos, but they see what's behind it. So if I right-click this, and I click Save As, and we see it saved as Pest Services, Home Inspections, King Fist Pest Control. That's actually pretty good. It's three different keywords. I would probably break it down into just one keyword that you're wanting to rank for. So in this case, I would do Pest Control Jacksonville FL, because um, Google sees that. They see behind the pictures. They don't see the picture. So you want to make sure that you have all, all of the pictures on your entire website uh, optimized for each of the keywords that you want to rank for. So now moving on to backlinks. So I'm going to go into a tool that we use that shows us kind of the metrics of your site and your competitor site. So we're going to look at yours first. And we see, I mean, don't worry about this. It's ARIFS. It's a third-party tool. So this is just where they have you ranked in their system. You're about 19 million. Um, but one number that we do want to pay attention to is domain rating. So it's on 0 to 100, as you can see here. And the higher the number, the more powerful or the more trust you have with Google. So you're at an 8. So that means you really don't have too much trust. But the way to get that trust is through backlinks. And backlinks are nothing more than votes on the Internet. So to give you an idea, getting your website right here posted on another website that does something similar to pest control, um, that's going to give you trust, especially if you're getting it posted on another website that has trust already with Google. That trust kind of flows through to you. And in turn, it makes that number go up. So not all backlinks are created equal. I mean, we could go out there and probably get your website plastered to a bunch of different sites. But if kingfishpest.com is on you know, Pizza Hut's website, it's not going to make a difference. It's probably, it might even hurt you um, versus helping you. So you want to get it on relevant websites um, and as many as possible. So what it's showing us, though, is right now you guys are listed on 45 different websites, creating a total of 418 backlinks. Um, so it, And it gives you that power here. So... We look here, you guys are ranking for 786 keywords. And out of those 786 keywords, you guys are pulling 72 people per month to your website. 
And this number here, uh, it just shows if you are paying, you know, if you're doing pay-per-click or running ads, it would cost about $301 to get 72 people to come to your website for at least the keywords that you're ranking for. So when we look at the keywords that you're ranking for, the way this works, it tells, tells us what, what phrase or keywords you rank for, and then it tells us how many people are actually searching that per month, and that's the cost per click if you're running ads. And then it tells us your position. So right here, obviously, number six, you're on the first page of Google, midway down. And out of these 100 people that search this phrase, you're getting seven people to come to your website. So obviously, we can go down and look at what you rank for. There's a good one, Jack's Pest Control. There's 150 people searching for it every single month. And you guys are at the very bottom of page one. And you're getting about three to four customers per month coming to your website. Let's keep scrolling down and see. I mean, obviously, all these... Um, aren't Jack Jacksonville specific? So let's keep looking. Inspect all Jacksonville, Florida. All right. So just from looking at these, you go, you, you guys aren't ranking for any of the main keywords that are out there, and I'm going to show you those here shortly. So let's jump over and look at what your competitors are doing. So we go back through, look at their domain rating. It's 38. So they have a lot of trust. And the way they have that is because they're listed on 400 different websites, creating over 9,000 backlinks. So, the, you know, obviously the first thing is, you know, how do I go out and get um, my website on other people's websites? That's hard. Um, and you're right, it is. And so the way we do it is we come through here. Obviously, success leaves a trail. So we like to look at the, what the number one person's doing, and we want to try to mimic it. And then obviously no, don't stop there, but go above and beyond. So all these websites right here is actually what they're listed on. So what we do is we go through and we go to each one of these websites and we try to get your website listed on there, whether it's contacting the host or whoever's running the website uh, and doing what we have to do to get your website on there. If for whatever reason we can't, then we have some alternate ways um, to get you listed on some very powerful websites as well. So we go through one by one and we get you listed in each one of these. And then in turn, like I said, we don't stop there. We keep going uh, to make sure that we, you know, we outdo the competitor in the area. But now let's go back and look at their keywords. So they, they rank for over 11,000 keywords. They have almost 9,000 people every single month coming to their website. And that's the value of 9,000 people coming to your website. It's $67,000. Um, so obviously if they were doing any type of pay-per-click to get, generate this type of traffic, it would cost that amount. So they're technically getting this much traffic for free because they're ranked organically um, and people are going to their site for free. So let's look at some of the keywords they rank for. All right, so as you see here, right off the bat, they don't rank, really rank for anything Jacksonville specific. But look how much traffic. Um, oh, let me get back out of here. Hold on. Go to the American side. Um, so let's look at how much traffic. Out of 53,000 people that search Palmetto Bug, they're getting 1,500 people just to come to their website every month. And that's in the middle of page one of Google. So imagine if they were number one, they'd get more than that. Um, but why is this important just to rank for Palmetto Bug or, you know, Cinch Bugs or whatnot? As we see here, it's on some type of probably like a blog. They're writing articles to show uh, their consumers, to teach them, to give them tips. And that's what Google wants to see. Google doesn't want to see companies out there just trying to make a bunch of money. They want to see people actually, you know, giving knowledge to the public and stuff like that. So that's why they have these blogs and they're ranking for all these different love bugs, palmetto bugs, cockroaches. And you can see they're generating a lot of traffic to their website just off of those. Um, and you can see they're obviously they're not just Jacksonville specific. They run, I think, all of Florida, it looks like. But you can see Pest Control Orlando. There's 1,000 people searching for it. They're number two. They're getting 103 people a month. We keep going down, but now we see this is one, This is the main keyword in Jacksonville. 450 people searching for it every single month, um, and they're number one, and they're getting 90 people to come to their website every single month because of it. And so we keep going. Um, they rank for a lot of keywords, um, but I'm going to show you a bunch of other keywords that, that you can actually rank for as well. Uh, here you see another one. Pest Control Jacksonville, so there's not the FL at the end of it. 150 people search for it every single month. They're getting 50 people out of it. Um, they're ranking for their own name. But anyways, you've seen that they had 9,000, so um, it's that'd be tough to go through. But even Bed Bugs Jacksonville, Florida, there's 26 people. Um, you can see how all that adds up by targeting all of these keywords. So let's look at some of the keywords that are out there. These these are Nobody ranks for these. These are just the keywords that are out there that, are, that have the most search volume. Pest Control Jacksonville FL, Pest Control Companies Jacksonville FL, Turner Pest Control Services, Florida Pest Control. So you can see all of these. So if we can get you ranking for all of these different keywords, 
um, you can see how that volume would add up very quickly and generate a ton of traffic to your website, ultimately, hopefully, uh, converting into customers. So we're just going to jump over here real fast. We're going to talk about this piece right here. These are This is the Google My Business, or GMB. Um, and one of the big ways to get your company to move up the ladder on the GMBs is something called citations. Citations are nothing more than getting this this information listed in directories all throughout the web. Uh, we usually do, for most of our customers, we usually put them in about 300 to 350 directories. And so, um, and that's, we do it, you know, you have to do it one by one manually. But the biggest thing to remember if you guys go put yourself in directories is the way you have your name, your address, and your phone number. It has to be word for word, letter for letter, exactly how it is here in the GMB. Otherwise, Google won't give you any credit for it and it's, it's worthless. So I'll give you an example. Um, so like how they use the and sign right here. If they were to go put their self in a directory, busy bee termite, and then spell that out, it wouldn't. It would do a no, no good. It would be a waste of time. So that's one of the best ways that. And obviously, you start start getting reviews. I mean, this Turner Pest Control they got a they got a lot of reviews. That does help as well. Uh, but to show you real fast how many citations your top competitor in the area has, we look at Turner Pest Control here. They have 12 citations, uh, which is nothing. Their reviews are really helping them. But what we do the same thing with this as we do with backlinks. Obviously, success leaves a trail, so we come in here, we go by one by one, and we go find out which ones they're in, and we go mimic that, and we get you in there as well. Uh, and once again, we don't stop there. We keep going. Like I said, usually we do about 300, 350 directories. That way you're untouchable. Um, but hopefully that gives you uh, some kind of insight on what you guys can do to help um, you know, grow, grow the traffic to your website and actually start moving up the search engines. If you have any questions, I'd love to have a sit down with you, kind of tell you what we're able to offer you. Um, so I look forward to hearing you. You're more than welcome to give me a call back. My name is Grant, 706-233-3557. Once again, 706-233-3557. Thanks, Brian.